Hi, welcome to First Things First. I'm Tom Iceland, and this is the show where you learn how to build a thriving nonprofit and live inspired. In the next few minutes, I'm going to be talking with you about the famed give or get policy and why it's so, mm, how should I say this nicely, lame? <laughs> in fact, this topic gets me so riled up it makes my hair stand on end and I just want to scream. All right, let's say you're a board member at a small nonprofit that runs a soup kitchen. It's fundraising season and the board chair stands up and reminds everyone of its give or get policy. I'm here to remind the board of our $5,000 give or get policy. This means you either need to give a donation of $5,000 or go get $5,000 in donations from people you know. Sound familiar? Now, let me explain why the give or get policy is a failed policy. Let's say you sit on the board of this soup kitchen and you're a millionaire CEO. To fulfill your give or get obligation, you can simply write a check for $5,000 and you're done. No calls, no meetings, and you don't have to tap into your network of wealthy friends. Whew, you simply write a check and finito. Or if you don't wanna write a check, which you still should, you can use your seasoned sales skills to tap into your network of wealthy friends and raise the $5,000 with relative ease. Okay, here's another scenario. Instead of being a millionaire, let's say you're a single mother that works at a preschool and makes $27,000 a year. Now, not trying to stereotype or anything, this is just an example. There is no way you can write a check for $5,000, and it's probably unlikely you run in social circles of friends who can write big checks. Again, just an example. And since you work as a teacher, you may not have the sales skills to ask people for money effectively. As I discussed in last week's video, should board members be required to ask for money, this scenario can be a disaster. Because when people feel pressured to ask for money, are afraid to ask, or they're just not good at it, bad things can happen. Number one, a donor could get turned off and not make a donation. Number two, a donor could make a smaller donation due to an ineffective ask. Number three, a donor could stop giving altogether if the ask was done unprofessionally. Four, if a donor has a bad giving experience, they may tell their friends and that's never good. And five, a board member may quit due to the pressure of having to give or get $5,000. In summary, the give or get policy is a failed policy because it lets people with deep pockets off the hook and places an excessive burden on people with shallow pockets. And from my experience, boards that have give or get policies tend to have irritated board members when it comes to raising money and fall far short of their fundraising potential. So if a give or get policy is a failed policy, what's the alternative? The alternative is a give and help get policy. A give and help get policy states that every board member should give a donation, no exceptions. Hey, if you're not willing to make a donation to your organization, why should donors support it? And all board members should give according to their ability. This means making meaningful gifts based on financial capacity. For example, if you're a single mom making $27,000 a year, a meaningful gift to you may be $250. If you're a millionaire, it may be $50,000. Now, the give is only half of the equation. The help get part of the equation means that every board member should help support the fundraising efforts of their nonprofit based on their skills, interest, and influence. So if you're a millionaire CEO, you could help get funds by making introductions to your wealthy friends, hosting boutique dinner parties, and nurturing relationships with donors. If you're a single mom, you could support the fundraising efforts of your organization by speaking at civic events, making thank you calls, or nurturing relationships with business owners you know in the community. Do you see the difference? The give or get policy irritates people and stifles funding potential. Whereas the give and help get policy encourages everyone to give based on their ability and engages everyone in the overall fundraising efforts of the organization, which increases its ability to achieve its fundraising potential. Do your board a big favor, show them this video and make a motion to replace your give or get policy with a give and help get policy. I assure you, you'll have happier and more engaged board members and best of all, you'll raise a lot more money. And who doesn't want to do that? Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for tuning in. That means a lot to me. 
If you like this video, provide a comment and share it. And remember, keep fueling your passion and giving back because the world needs more people like you to make it a better place. Have an outstanding day.